How's it going guys? I got a couple more conversions, but these ones are non-metric. Um, typically when I've had to do these problems, my professor has given me um, one type of given. So for example, for these problems, um, 1.609 kilometers is equal to one mile. And that right there is gonna help us solve the following problems. So first off, we can start by very basic, just going kilometers to miles. So let's say it's uh, 723 kilometers to miles. So the best way that I know to set this up is just to start out with what you're given, 723 kilometers. And we're just going to do a series of what looks like fractions. So we know that on the bottom here, we're going to put 609 kilometers per one mile. And kilometers up top, kilometers down below. They cancel out. We're left with miles, which is what we're looking for. Now we're simply going to take the 723 and divide it by how many kilometers are in a mile. 609 equals, so what I got is 449.35, rounding to two decimal places, miles. So that one's not too bad. That kind of just gives us a brief overview of how a lot of these are going to work. Next we can move on to a type of problem where we're going to go from meters to miles using this. Obviously there is a certain number of meters in a mile, but if we're given kilometers and we have to use this, say we have 62 meters and we're trying to figure out how many miles, we can go back to our metric conversions here. Um, base unit and then we only need this side. So KHD, we're trying to get to meters, or I mean, sorry, we're trying to get to KM from here. We're going to go one, two, three to the left. So take 62 right there, one, two, three, 0 0.062 kilometers. And now we can just throw that right into the same equation we used before. Times one mile, which has 1.609 kilometers. Kilometers cancel. And now we're just left to do that division. 0 0.062 divided by 1.609 equals 0 0.0385 miles. Okay, now we're going to get a little bit more complicated. We're going to go from feet per second to inch per hour. Now let's just say we have, um, I don't know, 651 feet per second. We're trying to get to inch per hour. Probably should have started with something a little bit smaller, but we'll see. So we, in this case, it sounds kind of confusing right off the bat, but we know a few things here. We know that there are 12 inches per one foot, and we know that there are 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in one hour. So we're going to use these to figure this out. So we can start off with the 600 or 6,051 feet per one second. And we're just going to go through a series of these fractions in order to cancel out what we have and end up with what we need to get. So you can start either with seconds or with feet. Um, I like to just start with what's on top. It makes it easier for me to think about. 
so feet, we know that there are, if we're trying to get into inches, we can say there's one foot per 12 inches. And right off the bat, we have canceled out feet and we're working in inches now. That's great. And now we need to get out of seconds. So putting the second on the top is gonna help us cancel that out and get into whatever we need to. We're trying to get to per hour. So we know there are 60 seconds in one minute. Seconds cancel. And now put minutes on top. 60 minutes in one hour. Minutes cancel, now we're in inches per hour, which is what we're looking for. So now we can just throw in the math. We got here 6051 times 12 equals times 60 equals times 60 equals. We're getting a pretty massive number there. Put it down below. 2614030300. And you can throw that into scientific notation right quick. 2.61123456788 times 10 to the eighth. And that's going to be inches per hour. So not too bad. If we obviously if we knew the number of seconds in an hour, which you could easily multiply out. You could save yourself a step, but I just like doing it the long way. That's the same reason I hit equals between each multiplication. It's just a way I found to sometimes make one less mistake. Now we're going to go maybe the most complex one, but probably the most commonly asked that I've seen. Miles per hour to kilometers per minute. So let's say we have, um, I don't know, 85 miles per hour to kilometers per minute. So this time we're going to obviously be reliant on this. We can just jump right in and start with what we have. Miles per one hour. And I like to get rid of what's on top first, like I said. So we have the 85 miles per hour and we know one mile contains 1.609 kilometers. So now we've canceled out miles, we're working in kilometers. Next step, we're going to want to get rid of hours and get into minutes. We know that one hour has 60 minutes. Hours cancel. Now we have kilometers over minutes, which is exactly what we're asking for. The question is asking for, rather. So now we can just throw this into the calculator. 85 times 1.609 equals that divided by 60 equals 2.2, and we can round up if you want, 8 kilometers per minute. So that's the last conversion, uh, non-metric conversion I have for you. Um, hopefully this helps someone out. And yeah, if anyone has any questions, leave it in the comments.